Some people believe that governments should make laws about people's nutrition and food choice while others argue that it is their choice. Discuss both views and give your opinion. The debate over whether governments should regulate people's nutrition and food choices or leave these decisions to individuals is contentious. While some argue that government intervention is necessary to address public health issues, I do believe that such regulations infringe on personal freedom and autonomy. On the one hand, proponents of government regulation assert that it is essential to tackle public health issues stemming from poor nutrition. Firstly, unhealthy diets are linked to various health problems, including obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. Governments can mitigate these issues by regulating food choices to reduce the health care system's burden and enhance public health. For instance, several countries, including Mexico, the United Kingdom, and South Africa, have implemented taxes on sugary drinks. These measures aim to discourage consumption and lower sugar intake, and studies have indicated a decline in sugary drink purchases, potentially contributing to reduced obesity rates. Additionally, relying solely on education and information may not suffice. Regulation can establish clear standards for food production, labeling, and marketing, ensuring consumers are not misled about nutritional content. Denmark's tax on saturated fat and processed foods led to a significant drop in consumption of these products and a subsequent decrease in obesity rates. On the other hand, opponents, myself included, argue that food choices should remain a personal decision, emphasizing individual autonomy. They believe people have the right to decide what they consume without government interference. For example, France's ban on sugary drinks in schools faced criticism for possibly infringing on teenagers' autonomy and neglecting broader educational efforts on healthy choices. Furthermore, excessive regulation can be perceived as paternalistic with the government assuming a parental role in decision-making for individuals. This approach is seen as intrusive and raises concerns about potential overreach into personal lives. Singapore's long-standing ban on chewing gum has been criticized as paternalistic and unnecessary, restricting individual freedom for minimal public health benefits. In conclusion, while government intervention in nutrition and food choices can address public health issues, I am of the opinion that it also raises concerns about personal freedom and autonomy.